A new study about the health risks from tanning beds has some folks finding other ways to get that glow. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker with some of the methods people are turning to. Even before this week's announcement from the World Health Organization that tanning beds were a top cancer risk. I have a lot of brides who um, have a lot of damage done to their skin from tanning. Makeup artist Karen Hall had seen the effects. I think we tend to um, think that tan skin is healthier skin. Hall said when she herself came down with skin cancer. I had a spot come up on my arm. Her tanning bed days were over. No more. Mm -mm. No more. But even with the study's findings, people still have wanted that healthy glow. That's why the folks at Airtan say since the study came out, their phones have been ringing off the hook. People are looking for alternatives to the tanning beds. Former tanning bed user Gwen Montgomery found it with customized spray-on tanning. I do it one time a week. It lasts about seven to ten days. It's like body makeup. It actually does not penetrate your epidermis. So it can't get into your bloodstream. It's completely just going on the top layers of your skin. There are other methods to get color. Spray tan boost can give you a darker look. Even less expensive self-tanning creams. Some on the high end from department stores. I really like Estee Lauder. Others from a drugstore. Like a Neutrogena. Um, you can get them in different shades. But no matter which self-tanning method you choose, experts recommend exfoliating first. So when you apply the self-tanner, it needs to be on the freshest of skin. You definitely want to exfoliate before you get your tan and then just keep plenty of moisturizer on. It really makes the tan look a lot better. And even if beauty is only skin deep, spray-on tanning is what Montgomery likes. It makes me feel good. And feel safer after hearing about the recent studies about tanning bed health risks. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. A safety recall involving thousands of cars, airbags that could hurt or kill you. Find out if your car...